This is a third, third uh, station <laughs> in this period. Okay, anyway, I downloaded the uh, from the website. Okay, this is a structure, and uh, as Russ mentioned, uh, many uh, previous uh, presenters discussed the uh, asymmetric structure of the ring band uh, around uh, Morocco. Okay, uh, this is a cumulative uh, presentation by the uh, Typhoon Ensemble in JMA. Uh, you may see that track is a, a little bit moved uh, northward, so that's why the, uh, you, you may see that the tendency of the rainfall maximum is uh, located north Taiwan, okay? not south Taiwan. Okay? So you may see the uh, time series, and uh, this is averaged over northern Taiwan, and this is averaged over South, South Taiwan. And you may see that this is accumulation of the uh, rainfall. And of course, the rainfall is only up to 600 millimeter. And uh, you may see that uh, there is uh, uh, opposite, right? So no, Northern Taiwan has more rain than South, south uh, Taiwan. Okay? This is opposite from the observation, mainly due to the truck era. Okay? How about the... Uh, uh, weekly ensemble, and you may see that uh, this is still some deviation from the best track and uh, moving northward. So that's why the uh, oh, again the major maximum location is located in the northern side, not some southern side. Okay. And this is the uh, uh, another 25. So we have 50 members. Okay, so this is 25. This is another. 25. Okay. Almost all uh, join the, the uh, rainfall maxima are located on uh, the northern side. Okay. So this is also the similar case. Uh, northern Taiwan had more rainfall than the southern side. However, how about this in the brief? You may guess. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is still German. I skip this. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I was wrong. Because uh, you may see, this is the actually South. This is South Taiwan. <laughs> this is North Taiwan. I, this is opposite. I was, I was so sorry. Okay? So then, comparing with the previous years in JMA forecast, the uh, ECMWF showed a really better, better forecast in South Taiwan. Okay, sorry, not North Taiwan. So up to 800 millimeter. Even though the uh, magnitude is not good, but uh, there is a tendency uh, to have a maximum in South Taiwan. Uh, oh, this is uh, another case, another 25 members, and including uh, uh, surface pressure, rain, and surface wind. Okay, now almost the end, the last topic. Uh, now we are working for the uh, Northwestern Pacific Tropical Cyclone Ensemble Focus Project. And this is a five-year project uh, to provide the, uh, such kind of uh, type of 
not only Typhoon truck actually, but I started from uh, Typhoon truck for uh, Typhoon committee members and also uh, maybe interested uh, researchers uh, starting uh, May 2010. Okay? But this is password protected website and uh, we are closely working with the uh, uh, TD working group and the regional committee members and tropical cyclone program and the tropical cyclone panel. Um, Russell is very leading and so to provide the data set. Okay. Maybe you are not familiar with uh, Cyclone XML homepage and uh, Besebat is actually uh, uh, operating in Australia. And there are several centers to provide the data set. And this is one of the examples. And this is maybe for maybe deterministic some. Maybe this is deterministic of the ECMWF. And you can see the uh, initial time and initial position of the uh, tropical cyclones and uh, central pressure and wind speed. And so this is the uh, initial one, but uh, this is the forecast data uh, of six hours, 12 hours, and so on. Okay. okay. So then we are now creating the, this kind of uh, homepage for uh, type of committee members. And this is a striking probability map. And if you click uh, type A, so then you can get uh, this kind of picture uh, in the right hand side from the various uh, centers. So you can get you can get some idea. Okay, when the typhoon approaching uh, uh, to Taipei, okay, something like that. And as I showed, the uh, intensity itself is really uh, underestimated in the global ensemble models. But uh, we know if if we know the some statistics of the models, okay. So then we can uh, some uh, we can get some idea how the event, the coming event, is really peculiar, okay, very special, because by by computing the percentile of any parameters, like in this case, I show the the uh, uh, surface wind speed. Okay. In 99.9 percentile okay, in summer. So you may see the several models, and then most significant one is both again come from EC Metabref. Okay. The wind speed with 99.9 uh, .9 percentile exceed more than uh, maybe close to 30 meter okay, in EC Metabref. So then maybe the EC Metabref can catch such a such kind of extreme event in the model. Okay. This is, uh, uh, I don't know how many, nine days, almost nine days. In nine day forecast, we still have such kind of uh, uh, PDF. Okay. How is the future scope of the project? Uh, we like not only for tropical cyclones, but we would like to warm the uh, flood forecast. This is a case of Vietnam flood in 2008. And also we are working for the uh, warning of uh, sand and dust storm. Uh, maybe several years, uh, several days ago we had, right? In, in Taipei, Taiwan. Okay, so this is a summary. Uh, maybe I didn't mention the first one, but the, the flood forecast errors are getting lower, but still the error is not negligible for preparedness of uh, disasters and demands for more accurate and quantitative intensity forecast are getting higher, we need to utilize several forecast products, especially ensemble forecast, to see the spreads of the uncertainties in track forecast. 